All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we're just gonna be talking about the new update that's coming and for the new sunken, right? And how like the how we're gonna get the new sunken armor. But basically, in the new patch note, right? I was gonna show you guys it. I'll bring it up real quick. In the new patch note, we can get sunken items from any underwater chest, which means the diving spots. We're gonna be trying to go for it. And it is the same chance, 1 in 3,000, as fishing to get a sunken item, right? Which means it's probably just much better going to the diving spot and getting your sunken that way. Since, right, it's technically higher chance you go to the diving spot since usually they have like 5 to 8 chests waiting for you, right? Which is really good compared to fishing, but fishing wise, they do have a guarantee pity, right? If you look at my top right, I'm hovering over my name. It says I have 2,688 fish caught, which means if I get to 3,000, I'll get my fishing pity, right? Which is a guarantee sunken. You know, if you guys are not familiar with this. So basically, 3,000 fish, one sunken, 6,000 fish, your second sunken, you know, blah blah, and so on, right? Because it's guaranteed. Fishing might be better, but we're gonna maximize the diving spot since we don't have so much time. We're not gonna fish six hours a day, right? We're gonna go do some diving spot, which means we're gonna be needing some potions. Luck potions to be exact, right? You only really need luck three potions, which is what I recommend. And some power sight potion, right? Uh, no, 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 powerful sight potion. Okay, I don't have sight potion right now. But basically, you need to get some sight potion. That way, it will let you see underwater, right? If we go into the water, right, it's foggy right now. Clear sight will clear that out to the point where you can see like all the buildings. You just need clear sight 4 to be able to see everything. So, that's the plan. Besides that, I recommend getting a swim speed build, which is going to be nerfed next update to 10% each jewel. Terrible, terrible, what a tragedy. And then some water rating potion is of course needed for diving. So that is the plan. Um, now I do want to show you guys the luck chances right in the patch note. I feel like not everybody's familiar with this, but basically tier 1 is 10%, tier 2 is 20, tier 3 is 40%, which is what we are going to be using mostly. Tier 4 is too expensive because it needs golden scales. 5 golden scales. Which means you're gonna be needing a lot of legendary fish if you're not lucky with like the chest opening. Right? Which means we're just gonna be poor and living the luck 3 gang life. Hell yeah. I'll take it. 40% chance increase is better than nothing. So it is what it is. But to make luck potion, you just need golden scales. And I strongly recommend Jellyfish Flesh to make the Luck Potion. And for everybody that's new and you're not familiar with the Luck Potion, you need 10 Golden Scales, which you can get from cooking Golden Fish, right? Like, let's just say if this shark is golden, you can cook it and you'll get one scale. I recommend letting it rot since you get two scales instead of one. So. That is how you get golden scale. And now for the jellyfish flesh. I'm dying right now. Oh god. Oh no, where's the food? Do I not have any food? Oh, I do. What am I doing, man? But for the jellyfish flesh, <laughs> you just need to go under the diving spots. There will be blue jellyfish. Like, they're glowing. They'll paralyze you if you touch them. You just need to destroy them with your attack. Now, if you don't have any under attack magic, you're, you're in trouble, guys. If you don't have magic that can destroy underwater, you're in trouble. But, yeah, that means you can't destroy the jellyfish, right? Because you can't touch them. Like, it is a pain to kill them. Like, oh god, it feels bad. I, I feel bad if you don't have magic. But, basically, I use B magic to destroy jellyfish. You know, it's very effective, destroys them instantly. And that's you get, how you get jellyfish flesh for the brew. Right. Like I said, you don't really need the brew, but it's really recommended if you get brew. 
So you can have like five uses of the luck potion, which means five times five here, because it's five minutes, right? Right. So let's just say it's five minutes, but we'll just have twenty-five minutes of luck three going around the map, which I feel like that's enough if you have a good boat to travel around. So it's good, but it's also better if you go to the dark sea if you can get some silver cauldron and brew it. See how I have shining, right? Right now, the normal luck without like some silver cauldron, it's a special cauldron in Dark Sea. It will be like 3 minutes instead of like 5 minutes, which kinda sucks. Which means, Shining Luck Potions, definitely recommend it if you have them. If not, normal strong luck potion is there. If you want, right? Now, they are perfect, I believe, right? Because my brewing skill is perfect. Let's see, um, yeah, so my brewing skill is perfect, which means they'll last longer anyways. If you guys are not familiar with how you get more levels, right, you just go to Limestone Key, Pallet Town, get some seaweed on the beaches, right, if you swim around, you should be able to collect them, get some seaweed, and you brew them with any catalyst you want, right, the seaweed, just combine it with any catalyst. It can be like clams, right? Some of the whatever thingy this is, like a piece of rock, some pine cones, right? It doesn't matter. But higher the rarity would give you more XP. So I mean do what you want, but I recommend common ingredients. It might take you guys like I wanna say would cause I it took me five hundred seaweed and a thousand catalysts before. Which it's gonna take a while if you just started the game, right? Like a lot of collecting, opening chests. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But yeah, that's basically how you get your brewing skills up. Now, besides brewing skill, we move on to clear sight potion. Since not everybody knows how to get clear sight potion, right? Maybe, I don't know. But you basically get the clear stone, which you can find all the way down at the mountain. Big old Mount Everest. Uh huh. And you just destroy these rocks. Like these pillars, right? You destroy them, see how I'm going clear stone? You need five of them per potion. Right? Jellyfish flesh is recommended again to make them. So you can like use it five times, you know, while you're traveling. If not, you know, you can use any callus, it doesn't really matter. Right? Since the clear stone here are not as expensive as your luck potion, right? So it means you don't need to save them as much. You don't need jellyfish flesh if you want to use them for your luck potion, right? So that's okay. And yeah, besides the powerful sight potion, I would say you'll probably need like a build to go with diving, which means you need swim speed. And now uh, swim speed is getting nerfed next patch by 50%. So swim speed from 20 each jewelry here is gonna be 10% each jewelry, right? That's the maximum. So that sucks, but hey, they just four dirt. Um, so if we have 160 swim speed before, we're gonna get 80%, which kind of sucks. Which also means we might want to switch some of the swim speed for air capacity. If you don't want to use water breathing potion, right? Which would be okay. Now, to make the swim speed, you need gravite from dark sea chest and storm salt from dark sea beaches. And that's basically it for swim speed. Air capacity is a little bit easier. You just need the blue seaweed from diving swans. And again, gravite from dark sea chest. Which could be a little bit rare if you guys haven't been into the dark sea, but that's okay. You you only need the you only need the water breathing and luck potion, which you can find at bronze sea, so it's okay. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, let me know if you guys have any other suggestion or maybe question in the comments, and if not, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.